Our study looked mainly at a strict versus a liberal insulin protocol in patients undergoing first-time isolated uh, coronary artery bypass grafting surgery. Uh, previous data uh, from Vandenberg and Fernari had suggested that uh, a very strict glucose control was recommended in patients undergoing surgery, cardiac surgery. Uh, what we had done was to look at a liberal uh, protocol looking at uh, glucose ranges between 121 to 180 versus a more strict protocol which, which is currently instituted in our uh, institution. After the results of this study, uh, we have now changed practice at Innova Fairfax to uh, maintain our cardiac surgery patients, our cabbage patients, in a 121 to 180 glucose range. There's a lot to be said for resources and utilization of resources. And so again, in terms of uh, nursing and supplies and those types of things, when the patient is more in their target range, the number of finger sticks and the number of times they have their sugars need to be checked by the nursing staff is not as frequent. So for instance, if someone is between that 120 and 180 range, if they have two or three glucose measurements of 140, 150 that are within that range, then the time to the next glucose measurement expands to one hour, I mean, expands from one hour to two hours. So again, that's less utilization uh, of resources in terms of nursing staff and, and supplies as well.